Alrighty. Uh, so today's project, I'm going to be uh, installing this gas gauge. As you know, I have this aftermarket fuel tank. And apparently this send unit is a zero 090 ohm, which is the resistance. It's kind of how it measures the fuel. So this Equus um, gauge is zero 090. Picked this thing up from uh, Amazon for uh, 15 bucks. And the bracket for five bucks. Now it's kind of fitting that I can't use this one because uh, I'm not using these gauges for anything else. So my temp, my oil pre uh, pressure, and my voltage gauge, they're all over here. Uh, so what I'm planning on doing is, uh, I'm gonna see if I can move this, shift it so that I can put the gauge in here. Um, I'm either gonna put it here or here. Uh, although I'm, I'm, I'm tempted to give this side a break and, and possibly putting it here. So first things first, uh, before I start mounting things, make sure this gauge works. I'm just gonna do the positive and negative uh, on there. And, uh, Yep. There you go. A couple of things I had to take into consideration. One is my line of sight. So I think this one works uh, great. Also, um, I can tap into the existing uh, cables for the lights and stuff that's right next to it. Uh, the reason I can't put it over here is because this is all wide open here. And as you can see over here, you can actually see a little bit of the, the base. I really don't want to go any deeper than this. I mean, although I can. I don't know. I don't know if I want to go that deep. I actually like it right about there. Okay, so the bracket's in. Um, as you can see, it's fairly complementary. Not too much exposure on the back side there. You can still see it, but I mean, I can always paint that black. But yeah, so I clear view and I'm driving. Boom. There, there. So, um, as you know, I've already uh, so I ran this cable here, and what I'm gonna do is route it underneath here and into the cap. And I believe there is, there should be an opening along the way here, um, because there are drain plugs in the cap, so. Tap that hole for the grommet there. is actually I wanted to either run up through here or run down the wire. I'm actually gonna run it down right here. What I have to do is source power down here. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, uh, use this nut as ground. And I'm gonna use, I'm gonna find power here. This is a power wire, but I'm not sure. And also, this is frayed here, I'm not sure why. I believe it's a ground, but I have to take that up. Ricky's uh, marvelous work there. To the uh, nitty gritty here. Um, I'm using this as a common ground for everything, and I'm gonna take this ground and put it here, as you saw me do earlier. But no, and I was able to uh, spare that I had that I can uh, go ahead and screw the eye here for the common ground uh, I haven't tapped the wire yet the, for the positive but I know where I'm gonna grab it I'm gonna grab it down here and um, this cable here if you look at the back of this you have ground power and s for sense my my black is my ground for the sender and the red is the sense wire which I believe it's the yellow wire on the on most send units in the back um, you'll see that in the video. Uh, in any case, um, yeah, we're getting close. Stay tuned. All right, so um, um, troubleshooting my issue, I found that it wasn't working properly. So what I had tried to do was run my ground. This is represents the ground wire here. Uh, through the black would represent the ground. This would have represented the send wire. However, when I got to the front, I noticed that it was a, a full short. Anyway, so. What I learned or discovered was that you can't do that. You have to do a chassis ground from here, and it has to. So you have to ground your your uh, tank locally, and then through your send unit, and you'll get the proper reading. So that right there, as you can see, the change in the reading. And I actually stuck my hand in there, and moved the sender, and you'll see footage. I think I have some footage in here that 
that I showed the uh, send unit. Um, no, no, here you go. So that's the send unit. So as you can see, um, the grounding is it's imperative. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, button this up. Um, everything's already ran. I just gotta do the, the, the light cable and then I'm gonna go fill up my tank. It's currently marking about a quarter of a tank and we're gonna find out if, how accurate it is. All right, stay tuned. So by the way, the reason I didn't go with a Bosch gauge, the gauges are all Bosch, is because uh, according to what I read is that you have to use their own fuel summit. And yeah, I didn't really want to do that. So uh, two things, so here you go. It's light, they all match. This one's a lot brighter than the other ones. Um, and which is about right here, and about a quarter of a tank in the gas tank. Once I take it to fuel up, we'll find out if that's accurate or not. Yeah, so now I've done a bunch of things to the truck. Uh, recently I did the, um, the uh, bushings and everything, and, and it, it made such like a night and day. It's not even night and day, it's like a, a different truck. It was a big deal. Today, I did the gas cage. I'm going to make sure that it's working on its uh, issue on a quarter of a tank. Truth, 